been good. This has been good. But like Jeremy just said, it don't stop here. Um, we do have more people than last time, last year. We're going to do it again next year. Until we end Prohibition in Kentucky, we'll be up here. And we've got to double the numbers. We need to be overflowing this room and now on the Capitol floor. Indianapolis can do it. We can do it. Now, like I said, there's 138 legislators in this state that control 4.3 million of us citizens. That's a lot of power. It ain't about the money they make. So trust me, the old man will tell you they don't make that much money. But it's that power. It's that power. And if they think that power is in jeopardy, they'll start singing a different tune. So we got to put that power, we got to put their seat in jeopardy. Yeah. And there's a couple of free people that we're going to center in on this interim. And they're either going to move with us or they're going to move out yeah. in front of us. We've got a couple of legislators here that own hemp licenses. They sell CBD and they're blocking every bit of cannabis legislation that comes to their debts. That has to stop. That has to stop. That's corrupt. That is corrupt. And one of the things that I've seen, and I'm, I'm, just, I'm ready to just go nuts about, is we, the, the medical bill, over 50 co-sponsors on this bill. It passed out of committee 17 to 1. It passed off the floor 65 to 30. 65 to 30. It goes over to the Senate, and Mr. Westerfield says no. That's not democracy. We have raised the numbers to 90% approval in this state. We've done our job. We've done our job. We've got the sponsors. We've got the co-sponsors. We've got 10 bills. We've got 90% of this state says we approve. Now do your job, Whitney Westerfield.
through Jeremy's bus. He's got uh, you. You just be knocked out about what, what's going, what they're getting to do legally, and we're begging to do here. Let's rise up. We're going to be here next year, but in the interim, we've got to get more support. So don't be afraid to say it.